I said, no, I'm going to stay on my own live. Oh, Tina. Tina Boo. So, look, I said, nope. I said, no, I'm going to just stay on my own live. And bitches started from there. I'm sick of you. <laughs> it started from there, bitch. CPS calls. Let me tell y'all what these motherfuckers did. They made a P.O.L. And I know y'all done heard him talk about this on Bigo. They made a P.O.L. for me. Okay? Listen to me. They made a P.O.L. for me. They ended up... Um, okay, so they ended up Finding out my address. And girl, why were they sending men to my house? They were sending strangers to my house. Like, that's how bad the hate was. Lovely Sears. Yep. Was sending men to my house, girl. And I would be on live. I would be on live while the men would be knocking on the fucking door. And the people in the comments would be saying, Elb, are you okay? They'd be like, call the police. Elb, don't answer the door. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, they was doing shit like that. Y'all, when I say Marcus was so fucking jealous, The man was so fucking jealous, it didn't make sense. Just because I did not want to do a show with him. So, I'm going to tell y'all how, how I, I, um, uh, how whatever career he thought he had on Facebook. I'm finna tell you how I snatched this clout, bitch. I, well, he had a little bit of clout, I guess. Bitch, I been snatching clout. Like, no shade, y'all. I been snatching clout. So what I did was, I said this. I said, y'all know what? I said, I said, I'm gonna expose Marcus Vagina. I said, I'm going to expose his vagina, y'all. I said, and after I exposed his vagina, I said, I ain't going to say nothing else about him. I said, bitch, and I promise you, the people going to forget him. I swear to God, y'all, this shit really happened. Brownie was there. Tina was there. This really happened. He was on because he had started going to YouTube. Okay. They tell me she ain't lying. Y'all listen, when I say I used to roast the fuck out of Marcus, calling him Michael Jackson and shit like that, she stopped arguing with you and got a business. That's a lie, peeping. No, that's a lie. That's a damn lie. No, she did not. Marcus did not stop arguing with me. That, that's a lie. Man, he was sending people all the way to fucking Beaumont. If, if this is Marcus, baby, we can have a conversation. We can have a conversation, bitch. We can wake it up. Man, they were caught. He was calling Marcus. I mean, Marcus, he was calling Mike. They were sending CPS. Like, y'all were doing some hating ass shit. Real talk. Right, Josh? 
Y'all, Josh was in prison and they were writing him. Bitch. She never done it. It was a tie in and anonymous girl. He was the one that started the shit between me and Crete. Yes, it was. Come on up here. Come on. Come on up here, baby. Let's let's talk about this. Cause that's a fucking lie. Are you forgetting that there were that there were phone records and everything? Are you forgetting that there were phone recordings when y'all was on three-way and shit and Sataya had recorded y'all conversation? Tina Boo, you was there. Tina Boo, you would be on some of the fucking phone calls. One thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to lie. Tina, we know the truth. Big facts. Big facts. So let me tell y'all what I did. What I did was, Marcus, I had made a promise. Get yeah, me and Tina fell out in everything. Me and Tina fell out before before market stuff. So hold on, let me tell y'all what I did. I I said this. I told the viewers this. I said y'all. I said I'm not gonna go back and forth with him no more. I, Regina, who the fuck is Regina? Who is that? Yeah, who is Regina? Yo, admin. I, I don't have an admin called Regina. Regina Leach. Right, who the fuck is Regina? I don't know who that person is. Rock jaw. Girl, you lying. Sweet step got fired from the shelter. I'm lying about what, bitch? Because I said I don't know who Regina is. Got her fired from her job big time. I need to see a picture. KK, bring my phone. I remember Debonera. I remember Debonera. Of course I remember Debonera. But Regina... You said with the where my phone at? Where my iPad at? Katniss, you had my phone and my iPad. Bring my iPad. Where is my phone? I called it. Regina Leach. Regina Leach. Y'all called. We call CPS on the girl, girl. First of all, first of all, let's not even lie. Hold on. 
Let's not even fucking lie. Marcus them called CPS on me and I called Adult Protective Services on Marcus's grandmother. I told Ip, she said that. You told me what? What you talking about? I call Adult Protective Services. When Marcus calls CPS, I call Adult Protective Services. I did. I'm trying to remember Regina. Bitch, I don't even remember that person. Not 202. Whoever behind the page, they don't know me. First of all, peeping, stop lying. Stop lying. Let me tell y'all something, y'all. There was a fucking recording. There was a recording. Did you forget that there was a recording? What well, take your ass to the window? There was a recording of y'all being on the phone. Bitch, that ain't nobody but Marcus lying ass. That's all it. Girl, that's Marcus on that page right there. If you notice, y'all heard that thank you ordinary. Marcus really want to be my friend. Tell me, will you and Sweets to have ever be cool again? He really want to be my friend. I swear to God. That's him. That's him. He wants to be my friend. I'm telling you. Marcus is jealous as fuck of me. That's why I never entertained Marcus on here. Never. I never entertained him on here because I already knew. I already know he's a clout chaser. And that's what he wanted me to talk about him. So that way he can go live because, girl, for some reason, he wanted to be this big broadcast and all of this dumb ass shit. So anyway, so let me tell y'all how he flopped on the book. He was already flopping. Thank you, BBS. One thing about me, y'all know, I'm not going to lie. I don't have no fucking reason to lie. Had me thinking y'all was cut. Girl, he came on here and told them people that we was kin. He came on here using my fucking name for clout. So, let me tell y'all how I ended his motherfucking whatever career he thought he had. Okay, so he was on YouTube, right? And he was standing up. He had on like this silk dress or something like that. Thank you, Tree. He had on this silk dress or something. Something like that. And his thing flew open and bitch when it flew open bitch i sh sh bitch when i say that was the best screenshot of my life the best screenshot of my life so excuse me his stuff showed so i said this i said y'all i got some fucking tea for y'all i was like y'all I have the picture because nobody had ever saw it before. I said, I got the picture of his, you know, poom poom down there. I told them, I said, y'all, I swear to God, after I show y'all this, he was mad as fuck. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Bar Barbia. He has a, he has surgery. He has surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, Tree. So, anyway, so what I did was this. So, I was like, y'all, I got a picture of it. They was like, Eb, you lying, you lying. I said, y'all, once I show this picture, I said, I swear on my kids. I said, I'll never mention him again. Never. 
And guess what I did, bitch? I exposed the picture. And I swear to God, y'all, I never mentioned Marcus ever again. He was still going live talking about me for months. For months. The man was talking about me so much, y'all, to where he started flopping. People got tired of him talking about me. They stopped watching him. Because he was on YouTube. They stopped watching him. That's how his clout got killed over there on the book. That's how. That's how. Everything you did, he did. Kind of like Baby Shark. I swear to God on my kids, y'all. The same shit Baby Shark be doing, he was doing it. He was doing it. Y'all listen, I hadn't heard from Marcus in about two years or some shit like that. Then all of a sudden, bitch, we get on Bigo. Guess who mysteriously pops up? Marcus. Cree them brought him on, girl. Now listen, when they first brought him on here, when Cree first called him and told him, Elb on there, blah, 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 he told them no. He said, now nah, y'all, I'm not gonna go back and forth with her no more. He said, y'all know that shit old, that been dead. Okay, this is what he said. He said, now nah, y'all, I don't wanna have nothing to do with that. He was on a panel. They brought him on here for me. He was on a bit. Nah, y'all don't want to have nothing to do with that. Ain't got nothing to do with that. I remember when Trina B interviewed him and everything. It was supposed to be three parts. Yeah, he was trying to be friends at that time. Yes, he was trying to be friends with me and I didn't want to be friends with him. So it was supposed to be a three part interview with Trina B. Okay, a three part interview. When it was time for part two, bitch, he ran off the interview. He dropped down. This is what he said. They was asking him shit about my mama. Like, have you ever saw, have you ever known Ill Mama be a crackhead? Blah, blah. He was like, I ain't never known Miss Carla be no crackhead. He was like, I ain't never saw Miss Carla get high. He was like, my mama ain't never said nothing about Miss Carla getting high. None of that. So they started asking other shit. And he was like, look, he basically was like, I don't want to be a part of this. He was like, look, y'all, I don't know nothing about that girl. He's like, I don't know nothing about her. I don't know nothing about Miss Carla. I don't know nothing about them people. I swear to you. That's why I don't know where the fuck he came from again with this so-called fake ass beef. The man started sitting with them and everything, going live about me every day. I still would pay him dust. Y'all would never hear me talk about him. At all. At all. Because oh. I always used to be like, I always be used to be like, man, I already know Marcus really cloud chasing off of me. They went and got him. Listen, y'all, they were so excited. They really thought this man was kidding me. He finally admitted it. Thank you, Dion. Thank you. He finally admitted it that he hadn't saw me since we were kids. He told them, he said, I don't know nothing about the grown-up ill. Yeah, you had never heard me talk about him at all. Because he's a cloud chaser, y'all. This man had been begging for my attention for months, years. When I say years, years. Like, they used to be coming back and telling me, like, yeah, he is obsessed with you. How y'all think y'all got, listen, y'all, on the book, I used to be going hard on his ass on the book. 
How y'all think y'all able to see the mug shots? Them mug shots came from years ago. From when me and him was into it, I would post his mug shots and shit. Like when I say y'all look, when I say the man was obsessed and jealous as fuck of me, obsessed and jealous, let me tell y'all, y'all, I swear to God on my kids. When I say jealousy will make you do some crazy shit and will make you risk it all, will make you risk it all. Tina, do y'all remember when he sent his cousin? Do y'all remember his cousin was supposed to come in, come to Boma and do something to me? The boy cousin. Okay. See, he had already been on live. Like when we was on Facebook. He had already been on live, like, sending our little subliminal threats and shit, right? Like, bitch, like, for real, for real. He had already been sending our little subliminal threats and shit like that, right? Bitch, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. They had came up with this story, like, uh, okay, his cousin had came down to live with him or something. Yes. Yeah, Tina, you called me and you told me. Y'all listen, the boy cousin actually came, was out there in my apartments. He was actually out there in my apartment, y'all. The man knocked on my fucking door. He knocked on my door. Okay? I thought it was one of the dudes from POV. P-P-O-P-O-F. I walked outside. It was a light-skinned boy. I remember how the boy looked because I remember how the cousin looked. He was mixed. He was outside. When I walked outside on my patio, he was outside and he was like, he asked me, did I know somebody or something like that? And I was like, nah, you got the wrong house. The whole time, bitch, it, it was the cousin. See, okay, so look, so Marcus had made a video and he was like, what he was saying? He was saying something about a dude. Yep, and he was mad, mad when the cousin didn't do nothing. Yes. He was saying something about, yeah, yeah, that bitch talking about me. Yeah, I'm going to make that. I, what what he say? He, he said? He said, he said, I'm going to have that bitch on her knees. Right. He said, I'm going to have that bitch on her knees begging, begging me for mercy. Or he, he was like, damn, what he said? He said, y'all, he said, just know. Yeah, time I heard me and my kids. Listen, he was like, y'all, just know that, that she going to keep my name out of her mouth. He was like, and I'm going to make this bitch apologize. That's what he said. He, he said, he said, I'm going to make this bitch apologize. He said, watch, y'all going to see. He said, watch, y'all going to see. He said, this bitch going to be apologizing to me. That's what he was saying. And at the time you was done and over time, I wasn't even talking about the man no more. Exactly, Tina. I had been stopped talking about the man. And I was ignoring the man. He was that fucking mad that I wasn't talking about him no more. Okay? Yes, bitch, I'm telling. Listen, y'all, that's how I know a person will be jealous of you to where a person would throw their whole fucking life away. Throw their whole life away, okay? Throw their whole life away. Just because you jealous of a bitch. That's how I know, bitch, that jealousy shit can get real dangerous. Her and Cree did, yep. So look. So look, so he kept saying it like she, oh, I wish I could find that video. Oh my God. Bitch, when I say this nigga was obsessed with me and Josh was locked up at the time. We won't tell y'all what, Bipolar Queen. What you what you trying to figure out? Huh? 
Black girl, you don't even know what the fuck you talking about, bitch. Bitch, I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. I know exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Bitch, that nigga is jealous as fuck of me. How the fuck you gonna tell me? I don't even know you. So look. Hold on. Ooh, bitch, let me see if I can find this video. Tina, you remember Tina, you remember when um uh uh you remember when they used to be uh when he had this thing going like calling me a bully, making it seem like I was bullying him and shit like that. Huh? Bitch, I'm looking for that video, bitch. Cause girl, they used to be sending me all kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, you have to keep making me pace and everything. Put that in the freezer. Listen, they used to be sending me all kind of shit, y'all. Look, the, the man sent my sent his cousin out to my house. But I didn't open up the door. I came on the patio and the cousin got scared. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, y'all, when I say this bitch was so jealous of me, still jealous of me. Like, when I say he wants to be my friend, he wants to be my friend. The nigga was just, that was him on that fake page. Sulani, get the fuck out. Bitch, we, we not even doing none of that. Get out. Y'all, the man, that was him on that fake page talking about, do you think you and Sweets to have or ever be friends? 